Inching out of Lowestoft on a quiet night, the £23 million floating science lab. Heading down the east coast to explore one of the world's big environmental problems. What a stunning view, sunrise over the Thanet wind farm. But we're not here for the view, it's the science done on board vessels like Endeavour here that's teaching us all about the rubbish we're dumping into the sea. So why am I holding this plastic phone? I'll explain more later. Paid for by public money, Endeavour spends most of the year running a health check on Britain's seas. So Sue, this is a really interesting and different camera, isn't it? What is it? So this is our sediment profile imaging camera um, and it essentially takes us a photo of a slice into the seabed. So we'd be looking at, for example, um, differences in the colour spectrum down through the sediment slice and that can tell us things like um, how far the oxygen's penetrating into the seabed. Um, but we can also look for things like burrows that some of the animals have made. This cosy home probably belonged to a worm. Animals suggest a healthy seabed. Another camera also films wildlife nearly a mile down. What's it like working here, having this as your office, having that as your view? Well, I have a look around, look at it. It changes every day. So one day we have uh, Force 11 and we all have to tie our equipment down. The next day we have a flat calm sea, we see dolphins jump up. There's a call from the bridge that there's whales spotted or bluefin tuna, whatever it may be. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. The only way to monitor fish stocks is to catch some. Just look at the way the diving birds are trying to cash in. And the nets often catch more than they bargain for. Come on then, Josie, let's see what you've got. Tip it up. Now, we talked about the phone earlier. And here is why it's relevant. You found this on the ocean floor, didn't you? Yes, we did. How does a phone end up on the ocean floor? Well, that looks like it might have come off a ship, so it could have been off a wreck um, or something that someone's thrown overboard, perhaps. And a plastic bag. I think they're interesting as well, aren't they? Because you're finding fewer plastic bags, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it's really interesting for us because we've been recording the seafloor data for about 25 years now, so it's a really good set to show exactly what we've been collecting on these trawls. And plastic bags, we've found it's declined since the introduction of the 5p charge. The scientists spend most of the year gathering data, but today's voyage is a bit different. Tide and traffic make it a delicate reversing manoeuvre through Tower Bridge. Moored up next to HMS Belfast, some special guests come on board. Local school children here to learn about protecting the environment. Have you had a nice time? Yeah! Pelicans dive into the sea and they, they eat the food in the sea. And it's really bad because the pollution in the sea, all the plastic, it can get stuck. When we go in, into, for example, to a cafe and they ask, would you like a straw? We should just say no because they're going to give us a plastic straw. Had you ever thought before today about how you use plastic? No. So has it changed the way you think now? Yeah, now I want to make the world a better place. Richard Westcott, BBC News, on board science ship Endeavour.